Hey, it's Jay from Krotos, and today we're looking at the glitch transitions pack that's just been added to Krotos Studio. Okay, so when you log into Krotos Studio, head to the library tab, and you will see that the glitch transitions pack has been added there. So just click the download, just as you would with any of our other packs. Once it's downloaded, you will then see that in the left hand side, we've now got a glitch category. Within this glitch category, we've got 15 new presets that have been added. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go through these presets one by one. I'm going to audition them, and you'll be able to hear what they sound like. So first up, we've got metallic data. We've got Liquid Glitch, Data Stream, Metallic and Ring in the four corners. So let's just give these a listen. And as you can hear, when you release the mouse click, I'm using a graphics tablet here just to control the XY pad a little bit more dynamically. But when you press the release, you can kind of hear that this has got a tail end on it as well, um, which brings the sound effect together quite nicely if you want to cut it a little bit shorter, or if you want to keep it longer, it's still got a kind of finite ending to this sound. You can combine these in different ways and you will get a different variation each time you press within the XY pad as well. And also you can pitch the sound up and down using the macro. So let's just pitch this up. And pitch it down. Next up, we've got data crunch. We have digital glitch, we have pass by, short glitch and data crunch. So let's just play these one by one. That one's really nice. It's got like a really fast momentum pass by. And then lots of nice crispy, crunchy, sci-fi, glitchy sounds as well. We'll play all these together. Pitch it up. And pitch down. So these are all really versatile. You can use these for YouTube introduction titles, for example. You could use them when you're doing cinematic transitions in your content or in your social posts. Lots of opportunity to it here to experiment different results every time. Next up, we've got Dark Glitch. So within Dark Glitch, we've got Malfunction, Chatter, Static and Insectoid. Let's give these a listen. A nice long reverb tail on these. That's a really interesting corner. Lots of characters there are nice and low. So what we'll do is um, for this one, we'll just move around on the XY pad. You can experiment with these kind of gestures in all of these presets. Um, so let's just give that a listen. And again, you can turn the reverb off on this. You can just have the sounds as, as, as they are. So if you need short kind of sound effects added, you can just click and release quite quickly and turn the reverb off, or you can add that drama back in nice and dark with that reverse reverb. So that's another really interesting one to play around with. Next up, we've got UX Night Strike. So we've got Beep, Reject, UI Calculate and Crackle. So these are kind of like futuristic kind of computery sounds, I guess. They sound really interesting when you mess around with those. You can pitch these up and down and combine them. And pitch this down. It's always interesting when you just play around with some of the presets and just pitch them down or pitch them up. You kind of unveil a lot of new kind of details that you may not necessarily hear where we've placed the pitch. So these are designed to be flexible, experiment and see what you can make with these. So the next preset we will look at is Broken UI. So we've got Broken Com, Spark, UI and Alert Glitch. So I'll audition these. Well, that was nice. I can kind of hear this kind of rotating around my headphones, so it's got a really nice stereo image as well. Just try the UI. Again, some of these nice soft kind of attacky, um, you know, UI beeps and alert glitch. Again, some more kind of harsher digital distortions, so you can kind of combine those organic tones with the harsher sounds. Next up, we've got buggy data. Oh, this is nice. This has got like a kind of squelchy vibe to it. Lots of frequency movement going on. Lots of kind of interesting and dynamic character. Really chimey. These have got like a kind of anime vibe as well. I can imagine this using like an anime stinger, for example. 
Um, we've got Chop Stutter is the next one we'll take a look at. So within Chop Stutter, we've got uh, Click Release, Glitch, Long Tones, and Rhythmic. So with this one, you've got uh, uh, the bottom left corner is left muted, so you can kind of move around this and get these longer, more dynamic sounds. Next up, we've got Digital Morph. Uh, so we have Electric Charge, Morph, Stutter and Interference. Oh, the Suska has a nice, powerful, kind of punchy impact sound, so you can use this to blend with the other elements. And pitch this down, get a nice bassy hit. And I'll pitch it up. We'll audition these sounds on their own, so Morph. And then Stutter. So again, really digital, really kind of glitchy, full of little artifacts and things you can experiment with. Uh, next up, we've got glitchy moves. Also, oh, it's got like a nice kind of a um, digital sort of tonal whoosh sound. By moving the whoosh to the spark, you can kind of el elongate this sound and uh, bring some of the more bassier end into it. Again, some more kind of high-end, kind of poppy, glitchy sounds in the electric corner. And um, aliasing, you've got that kind of classic bit crusher effect as well. Next up we have malfunction. So we've got digital glitch, low end, resonance and chirp. So that's got four really interesting corners. I particularly like this resonance one. Got this kind of slightly broken, crackly. Uh, I don't really know how to describe that, but it's just got like a really interesting character to it. And again, you can move around the XY pad and blend these together in various ways. And every time you click, you get a different sound. So that's one of the benefits of working with Grotto Studio like this. Tons of variation from a very simple interface. Next up, we have Chatterbox. So this one, we've got Robot Thoughts, Rising Energy, Distorted Thoughts, and Speech Noise. So we've got that kind of classic sort of sci-fi ring modulated uh, sound going on. That's nice. Distorted thoughts, let's try this one. Yeah, definitely distorted. I can kind of hear some little vocal sounds in there as well. I guess that's where the name comes from with the chatterbox. It's kind of got this slightly vocal element to it. Same with speech noise. Yeah, lots of these kind of like robotic vocal effects there. Next up, we've got Anomaly Terminal and Anomaly Terminal. And no yep, we'll just go with that <laughs> as a tongue twister for you. Anomaly Terminal. So we've got Dark Layer, Random Spark and Data Stream in this one. Again, we'll start in the muted corner and move around. So that's really nice. So this is another one of these like longer, more ongoing sounds that you can kind of move around quite um, quite dynamically on the XY pad. We'll try pitching this up. Again, so this brings in a lot of that kind of more high end information, takes out some of the bass end and you could do the inverse. I'll pitch this down. So in the random spark corner, as it's pitched down, you can kind of start to hear the, the spaces in between those glitches a little bit more. So it sounds more like a stuttery buildup. Next up, we've got broken radio. So we've got noise, active data, bad radio, and alias data. Let's start with the noise. So you've got this kind of classic kind of modulating noise. There's also a trigger button here as well. So you can trigger this on a MIDI controller, for example. Again, I'm using a graphics tablet here, but you can use a MIDI controller to trigger this and then move the XY pad around as it's being triggered. Um, active data. 
and it's got it's kind of got that nice beeps and bleeps at, um, beeps and bleeps vibe that you would expect from like these kind of sci-fi glitchy sounds, but it's also kind of got like a darker kind of glitchy robot element to it too. Nice. And then we got bad radio. And alias data. Pitch this up. Well, that sounds quite frightening when it's pitched up. That's really interesting. And we pitch this down. That definitely sounds like a bad radio. Next up, we have Sci-Fi Sweep. So here we've got three quadrants in Sci-Fi Sweep. Um, data blip, motion swipes, and reverse release. So again, start in the meter corner. So that's a really, really varied one. These are kind of have a shorter life than some of the other ones, but if you wanted that a little bit longer, you can pitch this down a little bit further. So that's really nice. We'll put this to a kind of a neutral pitch point. I like to hear those sort of crispy, kind of crackly, uh, glitchy, distorted textures coming through there. And again, we'll so these uh, these three have been in for quite a while now. Um, so we've got Glitch UI. This is just straight up positive negative notifications. And you can up the glitch here. And so the more glitch you add here, the more kind of distorted and um, strange the sounds become. Uh, next up, we have Electromorph. Particularly like that morph corner on this one. And then finally electric charge. It's always nice ending on that kind of feedback corner and sort of hearing its hail out. So electric charge is another one that's been in for a while but is still well worth checking out if you're after kind of glitchy granular sounds. And finally we've got wide speed chaos. So this is the last one that we've added that's a new entry to the uh, to the library. So we've got stutter, glitch, high pass filter and low pass. So this one you can kind of perform between the high and the low pass filter. You can kind of hear that filter opening and closing on the, bring the glitch in. Down to the stutter, so you can start to hear that that corner kind of break apart. So you can kind of get these longer, more tonal sounds in with the darker stutter sound. And again, we've got a speed parameter here, so we can increase the speed for this. This will actually increase the speed of the stutter sound here. Bring out some more of those details there, and then if we pitch this down and lower the speed. You can hear that really does start to slow down that stutter corner, opening up a lot more space. Okay, so that concludes the uh, Glitch Transitions packs. Uh, 15 new presets, a new category to Crossroads Studio. Jump in there, try them out for transitions, try them out for any kind of sci-fi sound effects, and uh, yeah, have fun. <laughs>